Hi, YouTubers, Old Radio Al here. I've gotten several PMs and I've seen the comments on uh, John's recent video on his Atwater Kent 145 regarding the cabinet I found for him. You know, I've known for quite a while that John was going to do that video. Of course, you know, it was, it's, it has been a while. It was around the, the 4th of July when I found the, that cabinet. John said he was going to make a special video about it. And to be honest, I kind of, uh, kind of dreaded it in a way. You know, I've always been a guy who likes to stay in the background a bit. You know, I'm not comfortable in the spotlight. Um. Uh, now I guess that's why you don't see me in front of this camera. <laughs> I'm sure none of you had a clue uh, as to what I look like until uh, Google slash YouTube forced me from the shadows. Uh, be that as it may, I wanted to tell you the rest of the story from my point of view. It's also kind of my own story here on YouTube. You know, I lurked on YouTube for a while. I watched... Uh, watch videos by guys like uh, like John and um, old Rick McWhorter, Bob Anderson and others. Uh, Lockmeister was another guy. I watched a lot of his videos. He had some really good ones. I watched all these videos but I you know I didn't comment on them and I never pressed the like button and, and of course I didn't make any videos of my own you know as I said I kinda like to staying staying low key I'm, I'm, a, I'm kind of a private person as I've mentioned before I don't have a Facebook account and this is really the only uh, social social media that I participate in you know I finally decided to jump in and I made a couple of very crude videos the first uh, being a look at my collection and my collection at that time it's grown a little bit since then with no commentary uh, just music playing and I got about 10-15 views of that one and one of the viewers was John next thing I knew I'm watching one of John's videos and it looked familiar and I think holy crap those are my radios and I was you know I was shocked to say the least John was giving me a shout out and next thing I know I have like you know 20 subscribers well if you have subscribers you gotta give them something you know right so I started making these little demonstration videos that I make and I decided early on you know I'm just not built for making restoration videos takes a certain kind of person to do that and I don't think I'm that that kind of person so I kinda made my own small niche more than uh, more you know telling the story of the radio and showing them in action and now I've got like 273 subscribers you know not bad for the kind of thing I do along the way it, John has continued to support me he, giving me an occasional mention and every time he does I have a you know a small surge in views and subscriptions you know that's a that's the kind of kindness he, he had no reason to extend except that he's just really a nice guy you know I've I've tried to as um, as they say pay it forward and when I can I try to mention another guy who's starting out making videos or that hasn't been discovered by our small community here yet and uh, you know no, don't get me wrong I'm not comparing myself to John or Rick or Bob or, or or these other guys like I said I have a small niche and I'm you know I'm okay with that I'd, I'd still rather be a bit in the background you know the point is John's a generous soul and I wanted to point that out next point I wanted to make I think is a is a big one 
you know, John just made a 38-part restoration series on that on that set on that AK-145. 38 parts. You know, we uh, the guys who work on these old sets knows we know the amount of time and energy it takes to make these things look decent and sing again. You know, and you can probably triple or quadruple that, and then you got an idea of what it takes to to do that and at the same time document it for us all. You know, I've made the comment a number of times and uh, let me emphasize it here, you know, John makes this fun. He's got a, a gift not only for exacting detailed work uh, but for making it in interesting and entertaining, you know, he, he engages you with it because of personality and the detail and, and uh, you know, just the love and enthusiasm he puts into it. You know, he started out making this series no, knowing he didn't have a cabinet to make this set complete. You know, he did it to show us all how it was possible. And, you know, when you looked at that radio, you thought, wow, <laughs> you know. But he took a, a pig's ear, as the saying goes, and he made it into a silk purse, you know, just a gem. And this isn't a new thing. You know, he's done it over and over. You know, he's got like 340 videos and 1,860 subscribers, I believe, the last time I looked. And, and you know, over a half a million views. Well over a half a million views. And there's a reason for those numbers, you know. He also had has some uh, really detailed restoration postings on uh, Antique Radio Forum, really worth checking out if you haven't, you know, under the name of all things Bad Restorer. As he, ref you know, he referred to himself in, as that in some of his early YouTube videos also. So, you know, those are some of the reasons I decided to go out and look around and see if I could find a cabinet for him for that radio that really, you know, deserved a cabinet. I got I got lucky, and uh, you know, the third time I went out looking, I ran into a guy I'd bought radios from a few times. You know, this guy had told me he had a barn full of radios, and I asked him if he had a cabinet for an AK-145. I gave him a, a photo of it that I'd printed out, and he said he'd check when he got the chance. And you know, we know how that turned out. You know, then John asked about the knobs, so I made another trip out there and asked the asked the guy if there was any chance he had the chassis and knobs for that radio, and gave him another photo. You know, I could tell the guy was a little put out. He was probably thinking, "Hey, why didn't you ask me that last time?" You know, he had to search through his more than 500 radios in a barn, which you know he won't allow anyone to see. You know, I've hinted at him before. Well, I'd really like to see those, and he just you know blows me off he's not about to let anybody in there but you know again he came through and I pick, picked it up with the knobs and sent it out to John and that's when John followed through on what we had talked about about the knobs and he sent the knobs off to be cast and and had the reproductions made you know now anybody can get those knobs you know I know by now you're you're wondering why I have John's AK-145 sitting in front of me. You know, why Why would I be the lucky person that got that radio? Well, it's not. It's a hologram. No, just kidding. Uh, after I saw that cabinet that I got for John, I thought, man, that's a sharp-looking radio. i got to get me one, one of those these days, you know. And then just by coincidence, a few weeks later, after I found the cabinet, there was an AK-145 listed on eBay. So I bid and won the auction for this one, and it's sat since then. I told John I would wait until his series concluded before I did anything but drool on this one. It's in pretty good condition, as you can see, as far as the cabinet goes really nice the, you know, 
the uh, grill cloth is not quite as in good condition as John's, but pretty good. And I, I need to get another, I forget, completely forgot about it, but I need to get another dial glass. So that's something I got to take care of. Electrically, it it needs needs work, a lot of work. It does have a good look at that cobweb tang in front. I haven't done it, and I I literally like I told John I haven't touched this except look to look at it. So I'm going to start on this pretty soon. It's going to take a while, as as you've seen. You know, it won't take me as long as John because I don't do quite the type of restoration that he does, but it's still going to take a long while. I sent John a video of this with uh, some music playing in the background when I first got it and said, look John, I got a, you know, <laughs> made out like I had a working uh, AK-145, which I'm sure he thought for a minute, thought, damn, you know, <laughs> and then I held up the plug. And, but anyway, there it is, and uh, pretty soon it'll be the working radio. Uh, you know, I'm I'm uh, confident. I have every confidence that I can get it playing again. You know, I've who couldn't? You know, now we've got a text book primer on this model to work from you know so it all boils down to that really I mean John is a generous man he's a likable guy I'm proud to have him as a friend if only from a distance you know Arkansas is not that far from Missouri but it's it's pretty far and and both he and that radio deserve to have that cabinet and you know bring that series to the conclusion it really needed to have. You know, I've seen the the comments, and I know you guys have been drooling over that radio as much as I have. You know, I'm really, I'm really glad John has given it to someone who will appreciate it and has brought back, you know, yet another piece of radio history. By the way, this radio has a dinged up uh, a knob. This the on-off knob. As you can see, has a big chip out of it here. And when John saw that in a in that video that I sent him, you know, he turned around and sent and sent me the reproduction knobs that you guys saw in his video. Oh, nice guy. <laughs> You know, I had told him that this knob had character, and he disagreed, and he sent me the repros with a note saying, that's not character, that's a broken knob. <laughs> One last word, and I think this is just classic John. When I told him I'd bought this AK-145, I commented, you know, that I had room for one last tombstone. And John's reply was, don't we all? <laughs> when I think about it. So that's the rest of the story, guys. If I embarrass John with any of these words, I say, well, you know, turnabout's fair play, buddy. <laughs> Along with all these other guys, I can't wait to see what's next. You know, he's got us making hints about that box. The, the 1869 and it's a radio and all, I, I can't figure it out so I can't wait to see that I will tell you what's next for me I usually have a little bit of music in, uh, in my video so I guess I'll put a little one a little bit in this it's not going to be from that guy but it can be from this one. This is an RCA model 242 that I just picked up last weekend. It's how I sp spent my weekend.
Just a little preview, I thought I'd show you that because right here on top of this doily of course is where my AK-145 is going to sit. So that's it guys. I, uh, as always, I, I'm uh, glad you made it to the end of this video and uh, you know, more radios on the way.